You might need this. Thermaltake's new MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler can lower SSD temperature and make SSD performance more steady while gaming. Let us prove it to you. How are we testing the new MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler? By comparing the SSD with its original cooler, with Thermaltake's MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler, and with the third-party SSD cooler. With the following hardware and testing software. To determine the winner with the lowest maximum drive temperature and the best overall performance. Now, let's start testing the SSD coolers by placing it to our thermal testing chamber and set the ambient temperature to 25 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity. First, let's compare the drive temperature. The drive temperature of the original cooler is 84 degrees Celsius. The drive temperature of the MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler is 77 degrees Celsius. The drive temperature of the third-party cooler is 81 degrees Celsius. Since 77 degrees is the lowest temperature of all three, MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler has one. Here's the overall performance of the original SSD cooler, and here's the overall performance of the MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler. As we can see, all three numbers of the MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler are higher than the original SSD cooler. Therefore, the Multix MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler has won. Compare the Thermaltake MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler to the third-party SSD cooler. We can see the read and max data are higher in the middle, which shows the SSD can perform better with the MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler. Therefore, Thermaltake's MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler has the best overall performance. Use MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler to win your game. Yeah, we finally! Thermal take MS1 M.2 2280 SSD cooler. Game smoothly without overheating.